Magandang araw Pilipinas! Welcome to TikTok with Aster Amoyo. Sa araw dito mga kaibigan ay sana naman po special na edisyon ang ihatid namin sa inyo dahil makakasama natin for the very first time ang tinaguri ang New Kid on the Block bilang movie and TV producer. Dating congressman, a successful businessman, mga kaibigan, rich or welcome, Andy Benitez. Welcome to TikTok with Aster Amorio. Maraming salamat, Tito. Thank you for having me. Hindi ito madali para sa isang baguhang producer na talagang usually yung iba, isang uh, TV products or TV program lang muna. But in your case, aling ka agad sabay-sabay. Bakit? At bakit yung ito pinasa? Yung kwento ko na. Yes, kasi go ahead, go ahead. Ay, yung background to. Yung ito yung gusto namin talaga ma-discover bakit. <laughs> Kasi nung, nung uh, originally, nag-uusap ang uh, TV5 at ang um, uh, ABS at that time. Uh, kung pwede sila magkaroon ng collaboration, so pinag-isipan nila uh, ano ang mga papel na nang gawin. Uh, noon pa yun, di ba? Uh, yes, yes. All of this, uh, yes. uh, uh, nung time na, na, na lumabas ang TV5, they've been trying to, to work it out to, with the entertainment industry. Yan isa sa mga pinag- pinakausap nila sa ABS. So, nung pinag-uusapan ng franchise uh, congress, uh, si Team 5 started also reaching out to ABS. And sabi niya, baka uh, gusto niyo pag-isipan na in case na yung, yung, yes. yung mangyayari sa kanila, baka you can... Hindi ba rin niyo yung franchise? Hindi ba rin niyo yung franchise? Mm-hmm. You can put some of the shows sa Team 5. So, doon nagsimula. Since uh, kaibigan ko nung pareho, uh, very close ako kay MVP, Kilala ko rin naman yung mga may-ari ng uh, ABS-CBN, sila Carlo, na nagkaroon ng konting usapin kami uh-huh. na. Uh, but nonetheless, hindi na tuloy ito, hindi na hindi nag-consumate dahil for whatever reason. Uh, until umabot na nung nagsara sila, nagsara ng ABS, nagkaroon ng search ng mga talents, of, uh, ng, ng supply ng talents, yes. from directors, creative, artists, yung mga naroon. So, uh, ang dami na ang dami na nangangailangan ng trabaho, ang dami na gaganap. Ang dami na wala ng trabaho. Ang dami na wala ng trabaho and uh, at the same time, ang TV5, ang dami ng mga available here yeah. time. So, because of that, because of that this that discussion that it started out, uh bigla na gusto kami ni MVP na but hindi na tayo mag-produce ng shows. So, doon nagsimula. And then, uh, since sabi nga ng TV5, oh, let's try to get as much as we can, let's hire as much as we can, uh, para mabigyan ng trabaho yung mga nawalan. And yun, ending namin, ano na. Actually, uh, is this co-production between you and TV5 at saka Signal? Or this is just between Signal at saka kayo, uh, Bright Light Productions, na air- aired lang sa TV5? It's, it's a co-production. Ang setup kasi ng TV5 is uh, lahat ng uh, airtime nila. Hindi man lahat, but majority of their airtime, uh, pinasa nila sa Signal. So, since Signal is also very part of sister company naman yan, di ba? So, ang uh, naging kontrata namin was between Bright Light and Signal uh, Corporation. Who so, thought of your company's name, Bright Light Productions? Ah, matagal na. And, hindi ko na matandaan eh. But eh, medyo matagal na yun na, na, okay. na company. Uh, we started financing uh, mga ibang pelikula dati. And, uh, you know, we, we, there was always this uh, uh, parang passion for me to get into the industry. Mm-hmm. So, noong una, maliliit lang, may ilang movies. And ngayon, wala na. Talagang parehong paanan tis ng una pinasok ko dito. Kasi I remember, you produced the game show for ANC in 2014. Yes. Ito yung game changer. Yes, yes. Was it the start or much earlier meron na kayong production? Mga ganun. Mga ganun time na uh-huh. no? So when we mm-hmm. produced the uh, game changer sa uh, ANC, yes. we were also uh, trying our luck with certain films. So we had a horror film. And then we Do had... you remember the titles? Ah, uh, okay. So, how are you? Uh, yeah. We are part of Bybus. So, okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Bybus was not too long ago. Yeah. And then we started creating our own films already. Simple lang po si Aldi Benitez, pero napakalaki. Mm-hmm. So, at syempre pa, yung kanyang mga, yung kanyang vision sa industry. And of course, you are very much welcome to the industry. Kasi ito pa yung industriya na nangangailangan ng mga producers like you. 
maraming pwedeng gawin sa industry. No? And, and uh, pag tinatanong ko yung mga ibang colleagues ko, mga ibang kasamaan ko, mga sa business sector, uh, some of them have tried. Some of them have tried uh, producing films, uh, investing in movies, uh, pero minsan hindi maganda yung outcome. So, so sabi ko, kailangan siguro natin uh, hanapan na uh, paano ba magiging uh, healthy yung industry na magkakaroon tayo ng mas maraming entry, mas maraming investors, mas maraming naglalagay ng pera sa, sa industry para, you know, you can have more content which will bring more jobs, more uh, creativity, more programs. So, yun yung ano natin. Yun ang, more jobs uh, for the uh, industry. Yun natin. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. Yes, of uh, course you are. You already are. Diba? Bago yung pagpasok mo sa uh, entertainment business, you were a politician. Diba? Bakit hindi kayo nag-seek ng higher position? Kasi sa Congress, to Senate, or as matasma. May mga offers that in fact, uh, during the time is Peter Alvarez who meet with us in the Philippines, uh, uh, testing the waters of whether to run for Senate. Uh, at the same time, I clamor them in the province uh, to, to run for uh, for a position. But, pero parang ano? Parang I felt na may tinuro ako dito. So siguro kaya ako dito makuha dahil sabi ng, ng Lord, eh, mag-showbiz ka na muna, mag ka na muna mag-politics. And then, uh, yun na, I, I guess I, I found myself in this industry. Ang mukhang bilong ka dito sa industry nito. Kasi pati yung anak mo si Javi, umasok na rin sa industry. Yes. How did you allow him? Kasi di ba yung iba parang reluctant or uh, may reservation pagdating niya sa showbiz? Ah. Ako naman, nasaya ko sa inyo, tapusin na muna niya ang pag-aaral niya. As long as makagraduate siya. Nasa kanya na yun, di ba? Kung ano yung gusto niyang pasukan. And uh, nung kinuwento ka niya na may parang gusto niyang pumasok sa industriya, uh, sabi ko, sige, call mo yun, di ba? Matanda ka na. Uh, graduate ka na. Yung uh, obligasyon ko sa inyo, medyo tapos na. Then, then uh, graduate ka na. It's, it's up to you. So at least tinupad yung pangako niya na kailang magtapos mo yung pag-aaral. So, and then, pagkatapos mo, pumasok na siya dito sa inyo. Okay. Ang isa pang ikinagulat ng marami, nung mag-produce ka ng pelikulang Magic Land. Uh, I think among the 10 official entries ng Metro Melton Festival for this year, ay uh, ito ang pinaka-big budgeted movie. I don't know how true, this is 100 million. May get. May get. Wow, mali pa pala ako dun sa lagay na yun. So, hindi ko na binilang after that. Pero, hindi ka na, hindi, hindi ka natatakot. Well, at this point, ano na yun, baga parang legacy film na to. Uh, it is a film that uh, we, we, that we created to produce a certain uh, message. And, and that message is that uh, the Filipino can uh, compete, can create comparable movies, uh, films with international uh, uh, standards. So, gusto namin pakita at highlight yung talent ng mga Filipinos. Now, whether kumita ito or hindi, uh, mukhang secondary na ngayon yan at this point. Yes, it's, it's yes. really just saying that uh, sige, uh, okay. ipakita natin ang galing ng Filipinos. Pero hindi ka rin natakot na ipalabas ito online? Not the uh, regular or, or standard showing ng isang uh, pelikula na may mga siniyan? Uh, na- naturally, May uncertainty. Talagang hindi natin alam kung ano ma- anong uh, mangyayari dito sa uh, streaming uh, uh, platform. Kaya I think we also requesting MMFF that right after the showcase na sa streaming platform, kaya agad kami lumabas sa mga theaters. Okay. So, so we feel naman wala pa naman mga international uh, films na ilalabas dahil gusto may life. Back to normal eh. Bago yes. ilalabas dahil ang natin ang mga investment nila. Uh, kami naman, uh, I think if, if uh, we'll be given approval to show it to theaters, we're, we're, we're planning to show it right after. Sino si Alvi Mites behind all this? I mean, you know, you can describe it. Kasi parang uh, sa nakikita ko kasi parang milokey ka eh. Kaya yung milokey na tao. Not only as a politician, but as a businessman. As a lalong-lalo na bilang producer. Like, uh, I was born in Palo Alto, Santa, uh, yes. California. Uh, my parents at that time, nag-aaral siya. My dad was in Stanford and uh, he was taking his uh, doctorate degree. 
nandun yung mother ko. So, uh, pinangalak ko doon dahil nag-aaral ko siya. Uh, mga two years old yata, if I'm not mistaken, bumalik sila dito sa Pilipinas kasama ko. Sa negro si Tom? Hindi, uh, sa Manila. Ah, sa Manila. Sa, sa Manila. So, oh, dali, nung high school, dito ka nag-aaral sa dito, nag, Lasal. Uh, Lasal Pinas. Yes. So, nung grade school to high school, Lasal being here sa Tom. I took one year lang sa France. No, I studied for one year. I, that was the uh, first year uh, high school. No? So, talagang, ano ko, uh, bata pa naman. No? Pinadala ako sa France ng parents ko. And uh, I stayed there for a year sa dormitory. So, I think by 12 years old. Or, uh, so, less. high school na to. First oh, year. First year, high school. First year. And uh, mag-isa lang ako doon. So, talagang pinaroon wow. ako to be independent. So, ganun ka aga, ganun ka aga. And then after that, yung college naman, uh, dumiretso ako sa States, uh, Virginia, where I took my degree as a bachelor in mathematics. mathematics. Di ba? You, so, you're so good sa numbers, di ba? Kasi <laughs> ayoko magbasa eh. Ah, okay. Kaya tinatamad ako magbasa. Sabi ko, numero nila, mas mabilis, di ba? So, Ganun so, ba yun? So, yung iba that. naman, iniiwasan yung numbers. Oh, oh, di ba, ito magbasa, huwag lang yung numbers. numbers. So, okay. Para sa'yo, na, 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 nawawalan ako ng gana magbasa. In fact, okay, I don't really read books. No? It's really more of mga comics, <laughs> mga ano yung binabasa mo. Kasi yung libro, pag ang haba, nawawala ako sa, sa focus eh. So, so, I love more numbers, kaya kaya nag-focus na lang ako So, after yung college mo in the U.S., bumalik ka sa ng Pilipinas? Yes, pero at that time, nung uh, I was about to graduate, nagkaroon ng uh, People's Power. Oh my gosh, oh yes. So, so, 1986, yes. So, so, Your body. So, pagbalik ko dito, nagkaroon na. May iba na yung landscape. Yes. So, politically, we were in the previous administration. So, at that time, ano, ang hirap eh, para kang may leprosy nun. So, I understand. Uh, if, you, if you recall, uh, lahat ng mga Marcos uh, connected people, yes. uh, talagang may na-ostracized. So, ang nangyari nun, nagdiretso ako ng Negros. So, so, the hometown of my mother. And that's where I started uh, uh, working with them, working sa mga uh, farms, uh, doing trading to sugar, etc. etc. And then brought me back to Manila. And then after that, I started doing a little business. Uh, little uh, lang. <laughs> a little lang. <laughs> Nung no, no, una, no, in, in fact, uh, may, may magandang kwento dyan. Then, no, uh, una ko ng business na pinasukan ko was supposed to be trading, like export-import ng mga Filipino products. So, nagbibenta kami ng toyo sa San Francisco ko, ng Batis. Na, coming from here? Coming from here. Tapos dadali namin nung rebenta namin doon. Kaya may itong nag-i-export? Kami nag-i-export. Okay. Tapos pag-import doon, i-distribute sa mga grocery stores. Uh, at maniyo pa ako ng, ano, eh, ng mga delivery truck doon. Eh. Wow. At, tapos nag-ano pa ako ng mga forklift para sa mga... Sa mga groceries? Sa mga groceries. Okay. Ito, sa mga sa warehouse namin. Mm-hmm. But then, medyo hindi pinalat. It was not... Uh, it did not turn out well. Mm-hmm. And we lost that business. So, sabi ko, magsimula tayo naman. And, you know, I started with a very small capital. Small, a very small business. How small is small? 10,000 pesos yung una namin. 10,000 na? No, kasi ito na yung bingo. We started doing the bingo business. So, yung 10,000 pesos na yun, pang-print na ng ticket. Diba? So, nung printing ko yung ticket, I think, magkano ba ang gasos? Isang ticket na, mas 500 pesos na medyo malaki na. So, binenta ko na yung Eh, maraming na bilihan. So, nagkaroon na ako ng pondo. Yun na. Lumaki na yung maki. Minayara ko na yung mga equipment, minayara ko na yung mga tao, etc. Kaya nagsimula lang dun sa pag-print ng ticket. What year was this? 1993. Ano ang naging reaction ng parents mo kung pinasak mo yung negosyo mo? Ah, at that time, it was just may may dad na lang because my mom died in a car accident. Mm-hmm. When you were how old? Huh? I was 16. Oh my gosh. So, my dad naman was uh, very supportive. Sabi niya, oh, keep going, try it. Uh, get him mga guidance on how to, to handle the business. And so we started in about mga 8 or 10 lang kami na. So, start up na yun. 
And then one thing led to the other. Malaki na rin yun, yung sampo. Diba? Sampo tao. Oh, well, sampo tao. Uh, um, more, hindi naman ano yun, hindi naman highly skilled yun. It's really more just kami-kami yes, lang. Yes. It was in 2010 na tumakumasok na sa politika. Right. What prodded you to enter the politics? Yeah. So when when uh, I was doing well with the business, I felt that I had more than enough for myself, for my family. I was going to maybe it's time to give back to our society. At that time, before that, tumutulong na ako. I've been donating uh, mga bushy cups sa mga barangays, sa mga pakain. Even before Even umas- before entering. Okay. But uh, it's parang iba pag nagbong ka talaga. But it is ma- ka. you're mandated and it's your responsibility. Kasi pag nagbibigay ka, kailan mo lang gusto magbigay. Di? Okay. Yes. Di ba? Pero pag nandun ka, it becomes really your, 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 it's your, respons- thing, your responsibility and mandate to help. It's, it's different. So, nung pumasok ko, sabi ko yun, I think I can give more, I can help more uh, being in government. So, awa na Diyos, first time naman, from nowhere, from, from a private person, uh, I went in right away to a congressional position. And I won, landslide ako na from from the first to the last. Wow, three terms. Three terms. Three terms. Bukas ka pa ba sa posibilidad na bumalik sa politika, just in case? My, my brother is the one siya na yung nakaupo. Na yes. Diba? So, mukhang nag-enjoy naman siya. Oh. Siya mukhang tanggap naman ng uh, mga constituents namin. So, at this point, I'm still wait and see on, on what will be the political landscape in sa amin. But, you know, from what I've started here with Bright Light, parang hirap na bitawan eh. Yes. Iba ang passion mo dito. Maraming magagalit sa akin yung isa nandito sa kaliwa. Saan ang passionate? Oo, dahil dinugot mo yun dun sa kabila eh. Oo, diba? Pati ha! So, ano muna natin? Kailangan muna mag-stabilize to. Huwag muna. Kung maga, lalo na ngayon. Lalo na ngayon. Kailangan ka ng industriya. Diba? I'm going to be honest, ano, Aldi. Kasi like, marami ang natutuwa sa pagpasok mo sa industriya. Okay. Parang nagkaroon sila ng hope. Di ba? Siguro, may isang, ano lang, may isang uh, risk taker. O pwede mo sabihin na... Gambler. Gambler. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> na, na Related doon <laughs> sa bingo. Na, na pumasok oh, oh. sa the timing, uh, the size, the scale, uh, and, and the vision of, of how... It, it's it's not, as, as you've said, hindi naman itong isang isang show lang, talagang medyo sizable yung, yung, yes. yung ano, and, and no even, joke. And in the movies, so, may, may pag, uh, ano to, kung maga, hindi ko alam, o sira ulo, o, or, 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 but, uh, to me, I think the industry is very much alive, it just needs to be reformed in a certain way, you know? feeling ko, we have so much talents, we have so much creativity, and the passion is there. Kailangan nang baguhin yung konting sistema natin. For example, uh, movie theaters and movie tickets. To me, para manood ka ng isang pelikula, nakakamahal na eh. It is not... 350-370 pesos? Exactly. So, kung, kung titignan natin yun, ang capacity ng tao para magkaroon ng... para manood, mag, maging affordable ang isang ticket price, hindi dun sa presyo na yun. Sigurado ako, marami na mamahal. Parang hindi talaga practical. Hindi practical. Lalo na kung buong pamilya manunood. So, ang mangyayari niyan, pipiliin ng tao kung ano papanoorin. Correct. At saka, mag-schedule yan. Hindi sa yun, oh, itong weekend na to, manood tayo. O ito, wala akong magawa. Manood tayo ng pelikula. Hahanapin nila yung pinakamaganda. Ano yung oras at panahon na talagang pwede nila panoorin. At kung saan may pera sila. At saan kung kailan may pera sila. So, hindi nagiging affordable, hindi nagiging healthy sa industry. Dahil ang nakukuha na natin, yung mga may kaya. Pero kung bigyan natin ng pagkakataon, pati yung mga uh, na, nasa, nasa lower bracket na chance to watch these kind of films, eh talagang uulad ng industriya natin. And I, I feel that the proper pricing should be less than 100 pesos. If we can bring it down to 50, or wow. even less. Wow. In fact, sabi ko nga, baka po pwede nga sa gawin na 20 pesos lang ang mga sinimangay. Mas marami manunod. Mas marami. Ang dami ng choices eh. 
because mas, of you know mas social mara- media mas maraming manonood mas marami magpo-produce mas marami magpo-produce mas marami makikinabang Correct. So, one thing, ano pa, I, I think we're going towards the right direction in terms of this uh, uh, streaming platform, the streaming na ginagawa natin. Kasi doon, medyo pwede natin bawasan ang cost. In, in fact, may 350, 250 na lang dito. But a little bit more. We will bring it down and it becomes affordable. Lahat tayo may hinalang. Siguro 100 pesos man lang, di ba? Actually, even less. Baka kahit less would be, you know, would be uh, a good uh, price point. For for uh, people to watch. And then natin Filipino one hundred ten million Filipinos. Yung pinakamalakas na uh, movie natin na uh, si si ano eh? Yung kay Catherine. And, Catherine and the uh, Alden Alden Richard. Oh. Hello love goodbye. Hello love goodbye. Only approximately about a million people watch. So so if you're looking at a million or so who watch these films. Nasaan yung iba? Diba? Totoo. Na alienate. Yes. Dahil sa cost of the tickets. Yes. Kasi syempre yung iba, lalo na yung masa, yeah. mas uunahin yeah. muna yung pagkain or sikmura, di ba? Sa isang manood. So like what I've done in the past, sa, sa, sa mga ibang pinasuha kong negosyo, I'm the person that thinks out of the box. Hindi lang yung formula, hindi lang kung ano yun. Yung... Yes. But yes. isipan natin how we can, we, we can address the, the, the problems and find a solution na hindi pang rin yung normal na solution na pinag-iisip natin. Which is, I think, how, how we can solve the problem. Nagkaroon na ba kayo ng dialogue with the industry people? Like, iba. Iba. In fact, mukhang iba okay sila. So, we're, we're, wow. we're moving towards that direction. Wow, looking forward to it. Yes. Iba. Ibahin ko lang. Uh, so, you got married at what age? Twenty-seven. Uh, twenty-seven. Just, just the right age. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. And you have two kids. Uh, parin two boys. The uh, parin boys. The boy girl. Boy girl. As uh, si Javi is the youngest or eldest? The eldest. Oh, he's the eldest. So you have a younger uh, daughter. Yeah. Okay. So, your wife, mo naman. How supportive is she? Ah, yeah, supportive naman. Um, sure. Pelat ng ginagawa. Kailangan ano? May consent check. Diba? So, so when she comes here, she's very supportive with, with, with what I do. Um, initially, in politics, she was a little hesitant. And not only that, I think most of our family are not in favor, in favor of politicians. Yes. Of bad image of politicians. Sorry to say but, yes, but I, I agree. <laughs> and I, I remember my grandmother said, she said, maybe you don't know who will vote for you. She said, Sabi ko na that time, uh, natin, I, I'm bringing uh, uh, a platform of, of change. Because as I said, I do things differently. Medyo out of the box taker ako. So hopefully that would resonate with our constituents as they go to. At kailangan ng, hindi lang ng industriya, kundi ng tao, ng taong bayan ng isang katulad mo. Yun ang hinahanap namin. Ako well, bilang well, 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 we'll see. Diba? So, well, so far naman, sa, sa nine years naman yun. Oo, diba? Pero don't, don't close your doors. Kasi yun na nga, eh, diba? Uh, oh, diba? <laughs> ako naman yung gauge dito is, ano, is, if you look at it, every election is your parang report card. Pag abumoto sa'yo, eh, mas marami. Ibig sabihin. Mas marami yung kakagusto sa mas performance mar- mo. Tama yung ginawa mo. Yes, diba? yes, yes. So, every election naman ako, I've been, I've been, going up in terms of uh, 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 voters. I started, I think, my first election, I remember, was about 117,000 wow. voted. Wow. Ang kalabang ko na, no, so only 30,000. Very popular. Yeah. So, malayo. I was, I was, uh, Landslide ka. The second election naman, I was 135. Wow. Mas mataas pa. So, uh, next, ang kalabang is 9,000 na yan. Okay. Oh, so ibig niyang sabihin, maganda performance mo. Right. My last yeah. election was uh, 190. Wow. 190,000 yan. Ay, yung fully yung election. Pero may kalaban ako ever since I've been... Hindi mo mo maling kalaban eh. Pero yung kapalit ko nung pumalit. Yes. When, I, when, when I convinced him to, kasi hindi yun yung parang gusto nung, nung, uh, nung district na siya pumalit. Wala siya kalaban yung isa. So, ano post siya nung pumalit. 
parang ngayon na sa industriya ka na, parte ka na ng industriya, TV, movies, um, well, how do you see yourself the next maybe 10 years bilang producer? Ang dream ko talaga is we reach higher heights. I mean, the industry is good. It goes for a global recognition. So, if we, if we can really get together, get our act together, and and uh, shoot for that, you know, as we become successful, yun talaga. Ang ganda, ang ganda ng vision mo. Ang ganda ng vision mo for the industry. Not only for you, but also for the industry. Sana ganun natin mga producer. No? Well, <laughs> hindi ganun kadali kasi mukhang, I'm sure a lot of people have tried. There have been very good people. So, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, so it's not going to be easy. So we just need, as I've said, probably the solution is uh, different. Right? Out of the box solution ng hanapin natin so we can compete internationally. Kung may gusto lang ako i-clarify, kasi syempre may mga, di ba nabas na balita na kesyo, uh, kinukuha nyo, or pinaka yung word na pinapirate nyo, yung mga executives, mga staff ng ABS-CBN to join your company. Can you clear this up? <laughs> well, marami kasing na layoff sa ABS-CBN. And, and so, if you look at it, sila may pinaka maraming pool ng mga experience, ng mga galing. So naturally, yun ang una nating kukunin, di ba? Uh, but, eh, pagdating sa mga stars, sa mga artista, uh, pinapaalam yan. We, we have to ask permission before they're allowed. Uh, and so far, we've been, ano, we've been, we've been very uh, collaborative sa kanila. In fact, isa sa mga shows namin, yung I Got You, by January next year, 2021, uh, papalitan na yan ng, ano, ng uh, Star Creative. Yeah. So, there's oh, a collaboration. Oh, yes, yes. So, so it, it's a joint uh, mm-hmm. uh, project together with Star Creative, so ABS-CBN, para ipalabas dito sa channel, sa uh, Great Light uh, time slot. So, ano yan? Kumbaga, very friendly, very uh, cooperative ang mga ginagawa namin. So, we, 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 we would just get those that have left or have been laid off. Laid off. So, so, yun naman yung nagiging, yun naman nagiging uh, direction namin. Because we felt that, you know, we were here really to provide jobs for those na wala na trabaho. And uh, in the future, I think there'll be more collaboration between us and, and maybe a CBN. Yeah, that's it. I mean, sila, sila naman ang, ano, sila naman ang, uh, ang poste dito at pillar sa, sa industry. Is your wife related to the offices ng ABS-CBN? No. No. no, she's, no. She's not, uh, no from, from, si Davao, from Davao. Ah, from Davao. 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 She's the Lopez uh, from Davao. Okay. Pero minsan, nakakalusot. <laughs> Ako, yun ang pagkakaintindi ko eh. Pero, hindi naman sila lumilipat eh. Kasi from ABS, ABS pa rin naman sila dito sa amin. I'll be beneath the studio. <laughs> Oo nga, no? So, ABS it's, pa rin. It's parang extended. Oh. Kong, I don't know how to thank you. Uh, but please take this opportunity to invite everyone and kung ano man yung gusto mong parating sa ating mga viewers. Ah, ano lang. Uh, we've been very happy with the... Uh, uh, our films, our, our, our products in terms of uh, entertaining the general public. Uh, we have a film at MMFF called Magic Land. Um, first of its kind, a very uh, international standard, so, so I hope everybody likes it. But uh, and then let me know if you like it. But of course, the TV programs. And the TV programs, the regular ones. I got you. Oh my God! Tama, <laughs> diba? Tama, lunch, lunch out. Lunch out. <laughs> diba? Tapos hindi noon time live. Diba? Ano pa ba? Rated ko rin ko rin yan. Diba? My kaibigan, let me thank my personal sponsors. Beauty Derm, Ever Belena, Doc Rob's Chiropractic Wellness Clinic, Ariel Agasang, Nes Astili Salon for my hair and makeup, Chato Sugay Jimenez, Bebot Santos of Coloretti Clothing, Gandang Rick Reyes, Pro Mag 300 Magnesium, Studio Manila, Gami Paraso Studio, at kayo mga kaibigan na patuloy na sumusubaybay sa ating programang TikTok with Aster Amoy. Alam mo, I'm so happy. Uh, I'm, uh, si marami akong uh, na-discover 
about, about you personally or as a private person, or as a businessman, and a former politician. And I'm sure you'll go along with me. Yeah. Maraming maraming salamat. And of course, I'm wishing you back sa yung pinasa ng industriya. At kami, bilang pati siguro ng industriya, I really welcome kami. Thank you very much and congratulations to you. Thank you. That's my pleasure. Thank you very much. At syempre pa mga kaibigan, magbabalik po ulit ang TikTok with Astra Moyo sa susunod na video.